Hello, in this video, I am going to give you a little introduction on to the Bootstrap 5 grid system. So first of all, let me take you to the Bootstrap 5 documentation website. There's some great information on there. We're going to cover it, but it's also good to actually have the other reference guide as well. So Bootstrap 5, you know, I'll provide a link to this so you don't have to do all the googly googling. And, and do, 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 do. Let's get started. Okay, so if we go to layout grid, and what we're interested in, we're going to be implementing this, but I'll explain what that is in a second. Actually, no, this is going to be for a separate video in terms of the sizes. But just to show you, though, there's six different sizes: there's extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, extra extra large. The sizes are right here in terms of when they are essentially triggered based on your browser's, you know, width. And the other thing to mention is if you have a certain size set for small, it will get trickled all the way up till it hits another setting that overrides that. So it basically goes from a top, I mean, a bottom up approach. And so it's basically a mobile first designed framework. Okay, so we have this and this is what we're going to be implementing, but this is you know what I recommend that you take a look at all bootstrap websites We can get rid of this because all bootstrap websites in the body need to contain a container which is a div I have a class called container you will most likely only ever have one container on the page It is technically possible to have more than one, but it is not recommended um, inside here you will have rows you can have multiple rows for the purpose of this video I'm gonna have one but you can have multiple so row as the name suggests it is sort of a horizontal layout though it can expand vertically as well depending on how many columns there are which I'm gonna cover in a second but I'm going to cover in a separate video like I said multiple rows and they're great for grouping you know similar types of content so they you know are responsive together next in here we're going to have another div and this is going to be have a class of column and in here is where your data goes so you have a container more than one row potentially or at least one and then at least one or more columns so you put col dash then you're going to put fm which is small but again i'm going to cover all the grid sizes in a separate video so just bear with me for this dash four and i'll explain what that dash four means in a second column four i mean column i call it column one and i'm going to duplicate this so we have three of these so one two three so if i go back reload the web page this is what we get if i was to resize it it still you know sticks to three different ones until I get to a point where it is too small and it's gone on to the extra small size and now it's all on one single line. So if a particular size hasn't been specified, aka FM for small or XL for extra large, something like that, then the amount of columns it should occupy for that size, then what will happen is it will occupy 12. 12 is the full width of the container. The container does not you know expand from left to right fully it is within you know a certain set of boundaries which you know you can have a look on this website that will explain all of that good stuff for you and yeah that's pretty much all you need to know in terms of just the basics of the grid system so this is the basic grid layout you have a container a row and columns inside of it so you generally don't have columns without a row you don't have a row without a container and yeah this is basically the way it works if you like i said if you don't specify one it'll be default to 12 which is the max as we haven't specified an extra small and that is lower therefore that hasn't been overridden by the larger size we specified of small it gets 12 hence why when we resize it they're all on individual i don't want to say rows let's say lines because rows they are you know a separate feature but that's really it for this video in the next video i'm going to cover all the different grid sizes that you saw here and yeah so look forward to that and i look forward to seeing you in that video